Hi guys, so this time we had another great episode, this time entitled Buyout. Um, this was a follow-up to last week's Dead Freight, episode 5. And, um, man oh man, after seeing the uh, kid be shot at the end of Dead Freight, I had to wonder, where are they going to go next? And the first opening uh, shot of the show just broke my heart because I knew that there was going to be either the kid or the bike buried under all that dirt and sand. It turned out to be the bike and we saw not only the dismantling of a kid's uh, favorite mode of transportation, but the dismantling of a life so that people like Walt and Jesse and Todd and Mike could continue their meth production. How sad was it when um, you had to see that bike be dismantled, that life be burned away in acid and, and kind of tossed aside. That was a really emotional thing for me to watch because I knew it had cost some kid their life. Uh, the next scene that I thought was really important was the scene where we discover that, you know, Mike is still being pursued by the DEA, uh, and he leaves them a nice little F.U. for being pursued uh, so heavily. Um, this really was an episode about power, and not really who has the power, but how to maintain control when there are no other options. Uh, there was a company, a group of guys that wanted to buy the share of methylamine had by Mike and Jesse. But of course, during the negotiation for that methylamine, the buyers discovered that there was a third party, namely Walt, who had more methylamine, and they wanted all so that the blue meth was not on the streets, and so that the meth trade in Arizona could flourish uh, without interruption of having the blue meth take all the business. Uh, Walt, of course, was completely discouraged by the idea that he would give up his half for just five million dollars. And initially, upon hearing that, you know, Walt didn't want to give up his half of the methylamine for just a measly five million dollars, uh, I felt like Walt was being a bit selfish, a bit self-centered about his part in the uh, methylamine trade, the meth business, but when he explained that he had built a company with those two other people referenced in season one, and then he sold his portion of that company for a mere $5,000, when it's worth like $2.1 billion now, I could sort of understand why he'd want to hold on to his share and keep cooking as long as he could. But again, this also shows that Walt's values have completely shifted from what he originally cared about. He originally only wanted $747,000 to take care of his wife, Walt Jr., and the baby. And now that's totally shifted. He doesn't want to take care of Holly and Walt Jr. and Skyler. He wants to show up the people from his past although there's no way to do that because if he did do that he would get arrested he wants to be a better businessman than he was previously he doesn't want to sell out he wants to go down being a legend and I think that's what Walt is poised to do if he continues on this path um, I'm really bothered by the fact that you know Walt has a disregard for everything and everyone now it seems like every time Jesse brings up a counterpoint to say these things are not good ideas. Walt says, I don't care, I'm building an empire. His greed is overtaking his ideas and logic that would tell him, you know what, maybe it's a good time to get out. Nobody's noticed that I'm like this huge meth cook. Maybe it's a good idea to just leave it. Nobody wants to uh, force Walt to do that and won't, won't make the decision himself. I believe some sort of tragic incident by episode 8 involving Holly the littlest member of the White Clan will pretty much set him straight in starting to care about his family again. Because right now it doesn't seem like he does. Uh, this 
all was punctuated by the fact that Skylar felt like she was ready to crack because she didn't feel like she was a good parent to either Walt Jr. or Holly. Um, referencing the fact suddenly that, you know, she's involved in something with Walt, but not directly saying, hey, I'm in the meth business with my husband. This was a very tricky scene to navigate, and I thought Anna Gunn did very well with Betsy Brandt in trying to share her pain, but not yet share her secrets of what's going on in her life. Um, I want the Todd character, played by Jesse uh, Plemons, from Friday Night Lights to die. He needs to die. He he is really out for himself. He doesn't care about the regard or loss of life. At least Walt is still willing to be methodical and slightly morose about the idea of killing someone. Todd just didn't give a shit. I'm just gonna put that out there. He didn't care. And it bothered me immensely that, you know, this guy is still allowed to be a part of their business when he did something so cruel, unjust, and Pointless, really. Um, he made the argument earlier on in the episode that I had to do this. I didn't see any other way out. And Jesse named like three or four reasons why he shouldn't have shot the kid. And I agree with all of Jesse's reasons. I really think that, hey, the kid might not have known what he saw. The kid might not have told anybody because he didn't understand what was going on. He didn't deserve to die for that. And I believe it was really weird for Walt to be cheerful about continuing to cook meth when he saw his lead partner so sad about, you know, the kid after seeing the report on the news. He was just going fine about his own business. And the fact that Walt went to such extreme measures to get his portion of the methylamine away from Mike so that it couldn't be sold to the rival meth, uh, circuit in Arizona was just complete pure evil. Just a master stroke of just not caring about anybody else but himself. But he says he has a plan, so we'll see what it is. But I predict that something is going to happen to his child before these eight episodes are all said and done with. You guys can think I'm mad, you guys can think I'm insane for thinking that something is going to happen to that poor defenseless baby. But I think that's the next logical step in having this show go dark. Something has to happen to that baby that's traumatic or different than what that baby knows as normal life. Uh, and for that, I cannot wait. I know that this show is just seeking deeper and deeper down to darker and darker territory. But we all knew that's what we signed up for when we started watching the first few seasons of Breaking Bad. So why not follow through with it to the end? Let me know what you guys saw of the episode in the comments. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.